Welcome back to another episode of FTL, Faster Than Light. I like to say Adventure Through Space, throw that in there, but, uh, alright, so if you didn't watch any of that stuff, we've already gone through this once, so we did it with, uh, the B layout of the first ship, whatever it's called, Crystal's Cruiser, so this time we're gonna move on to this NG Cruiser, Type A, well, I think... Do type C and we'll see how this goes. We're gonna have advanced content on. We'll stick to easy because oh. yeah, we'll stick with easy considering we lost last time. Still haven't really beaten this game that much. So, of course, gotta rename stuff. It may take me a bit to think of something. Um, alright, I guess I'll go with that. I'm probably just gonna cut to win the, the name, because I typed like seven names out. But, I'm gonna go with the magic box, because it looks square, and hopefully it'll be magical. Yeah. Oh, darn it. And I like these people a lot, so of course, it's gonna be me. And let's see what else we got. Let's be that. That's fine. I wonder what these guys customize to be. All right, doesn't look like they could be anything else. So we got dual lasers. This is we're gonna be using drones this time. Yeah, we haven't done anything with drones yet, so give me a chance to show that off. Um, and then, oh, and a cloning bay. There's the cloning bay rather than a mid bay. So uh, we got a hacking, hacking drone as well. So this will be very, very different from the other ship. All right. Then I carry is vital. The Federation fleet. Blah 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 blah. Gone through this again, but I'll leave it up. So if you want to read it, you can read it. Tip breaches if a room was breached which has no oxygen, try and opening the doors just around it, leaving it less hazardous, which I actually didn't say anything about. So if this room has no oxygen, so you open that, obviously, it's gonna suck all the oxygen out. But you close this off, if you open this door and this door, it will put the oxygen from this room and this room into this one, so it'll be so you can put people in it to breathe. Um, NGs, these little guys look like, uh, they look like a generic alien, I guess. You look at it like this way. These guys repair really fast, but really crappy at combat. Now, these guys, the Lantis Eye, or Lantis, I don't know how you say that, plural, uh, drain oxygen from the room, slow movement, but obviously if they drain the oxygen out of the room, it's not going to kill them, that'd be dumb. So... He's gonna be my pilot. I may actually swap this right now. I may put him in weapons and the NG in the thing just because it's a bigger room. Actually, I don't really know why, but I just like him being on weapons rather than pilot. I guess, you know what? I'm gonna put it back. Alright, and then so here's our weapons. Takes one to power it up. We got that. There's an engine. But over here, you got a whole new drone system. So. It takes, that's your total drone power, so if you have five of these, then you can have, you know, since you only have two, you can only power this up because it's only got two, but if you had three more, you're going to have to, like, add some more drone power, which is in this upgrade box right here. So, it'll become more explanatory as we move on. So go here, try and get really really set up for this one see if we can do a lot better than we did last time an unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate the victim becomes and just begins a distress message until the pirate cuts off the ins blah, 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 blah. Until the pirate cuts it cuts in and offers a split for the bounty if you sit tight so one missile one drone part on 11 one 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 or be a hero of course I'm gonna be a hero so 
Now what happens is it costs one drone to open each. So if I turn that on, it costs a drone. Boom, there it is, that's my assault drone. Then I have my dual lasers, which of course, dual meaning two. So, turn my auto fire on so they're selected every time. So what this is going to do is he'll, it's a laser, it's a beam drone, so it can't go through shields, but if I knock out the shields with the dual lasers, then it can zap through it and do like, quite a bit of damage. Now that's a much better bribe, but we're good on fuel right now. I don't foresee us needing missiles real soon, and it's not a whole lot of scrap, it's probably not worth it, so right now we want to try and get some scrap. Oh man, he did some damage to our shields. It's not good. Alright, destroy it. There we go, 31 of those, good. And, look at that, salvage what you can from the other ship that died. So, this cloning bay, the way it works is, you can't put your men in there to heal them. So like, if I put them in there, they're not gonna heal. But, every single time you jump to a new sector, depending on how powered it up it is, so right now, they heal 8 HP per jump. And then, obviously if you upgrade all the way up, you get 25 per jump. But, say, this crew member dies, as long as this is powered up, if this is injured or hurt, it'll, you can lose him. But if this is powered up, it'll just produce another one of him in here. And he can just run back there. It'll, it'll definitely happen at some point. Spot a small rebel ship nearby. Seems to be refitted for transport rather than combat. Doesn't seem they want to fight and engage your ship. Well, of course you can demand their goods. They're of course gonna power up their FTL and try and get out. So let's hit their shields. Power up the beam. All right, hacking drone. You can pick it. You click it, and then you just pick where you want to hack. So I'm gonna say I want to hack their pilot, so he can't get away. It costs a drone to do this. Now it's attached. Then you hit this power button and it'll shock the room. So that'll delay that room and it'll stop that room from doing whatever it was doing. That includes weapons. So if it hits my wep hits their weapons and I just shoot it with a, with a hacking drone and I power it on, it'll suck the power out of it. So then the weapons won't be able to fire. And it locks the doors. So let's move on. Alright, we got a sun in the background. Speaking is close to a super giant M class star, we'll gradually overheat and get out here, we're gonna die, blah blah blah. So, of course, gonna hit the shields, power up my beam drone. I don't wanna run through too many of these things yet. Just because. I know, I just don't wanna run through all my drone parts yet. Oh man! Hit my drone. My drone's being pointless right now. There we go, shield down. It really doesn't matter because I'm not gonna activate my drone again. Oh, wait, it won't cost anything because my drone's already there. It wouldn't cost anything to reactivate him. Oh man, that, that was a big fire. What? Put that out. Man, that's not good. Get in there. Hopefully the uh this you can put that out and the oxygen will suck that out. Come on before one of those super flare hits. I'm on. Alright, there we go. Should be good. Two stations and jump to an unvisited location. Alright. Find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon despite it's pristine condition it appears to be deactivated. Should we attempt to download it or just strip it? Well, I think NGs are pretty smart, so I think they're gonna, we should be able to get the, no. I guess it doesn't have anything to do with who you have on your ship. Activate the ship's AI weapons immediately online. Prepare to fight. So, I'm gonna knock out their rune system. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put our lasers up. Oh 
open on the pilot. Gone. The drones are very different. I think they're kind of difficult to use, but that could also be because I don't use them almost at all. So, this will be a experience. I'm not the best using the drones because I always forget, you know, you gotta activate it, you gotta keep up with how many you got. Oh, I just should've read that. They respond, help, our shields are down, they won't last long. Let's try and shield the ship. Yeah, you do it the best you can. After it's the ship breaks apart from consistent barrage, you barely able to break out of the asteroid field yourself. The ship is sustaining some damage in the process. At 11 scrap, we took four all damages. That's a lot. Usually it's not that much. So we probably didn't even make anything. Yeah, we made one out of that. See, there's what you just spent. Uh, yeah. All that we just got from that spin it and preparing for damage. So these are defensive drones. Shoots incoming missiles, asteroids, and flak debris. I almost said debris again for some reason. This one just is the same thing as the defense one, but it shoots faster and requires more power. Type person out. This is a little drone that will go inside of your ship and will fight members that get on your ship, which is not bad. It's actually a pretty cool little thing. Might as well provide a drone part and a fuel. Uh, I don't think we need any of that. So, we'll prepare a few more and then we'll move on to the ship upgrades. We probably could just go into some shields, because early on if you have two shields and some evade, you're, you're pretty set. Not much stuff can can really touch you that much because their weapons they just don't fire fast enough. So by the time they're shooting, maybe they have a two burst laser, it just knocks your shields down. Pirates are asking for a toll, I'm gonna reject it. I'm paying extra stuff. I regret your bad decision. The only thing is they may have missiles that I'll go through. That's the only thing they can go through two shields right now, I think, because that's probably a a burst two laser, just a, a lame laser. Oh darn, don't have enough power to activate my beam. There we go. Shoot your two lasers. Yeah, shoot the O2. Oh man, weapons are down. Get over there. You getting the engines, what you doing? Oh no, there's a missile. Where are you gonna hit? Oh man. I forget to use the hacking drone all the time because I don't like wasting that many drone parts, but I guess I should probably use it. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's let's hack, let's hack weapons. And then when you have the hack on there, you can see how charged their weapons are. I got the weapons. I don't know if they. Oh, they did get another one off. Dang. I still have my, my drone must have been destroyed. Alright, we got shields down. Prepare that O2. Missiles in the drones. Yeah, see? These drones are good if you get them all working up, but you get your drones destroyed and you're relying on your just your drones and your guns. You can get bogged down pretty quick with not knowing what to do. And me forgetting to put in certain shocking their weapons to slow them down. Not helpful. So, right, repair those doors. Go back to the stations. Just now we got the beam. Come on, shoot, shoot some. Yeah, there we go. That was a terrible, terrible fight. Alright. So now, we should probably, you know, hope for some money, I guess. That's what we're going to do. Not off to the best start, but yeah, well, hopefully we won't die in the first you know, area again, like the very first episode. All right, nothing there, and scanner showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match can be found for the database. Let's investigate it. We made a small shuttle on an enormous field. Only occupants are small, bright colored, six like horse-like animals. Could they be what you tried to pick up? 
try and communicate as peacefully. Try and communicate in every possible way you can. They're just in there silently judging you with your large expressionless eyes. You prepare to leave. Darn. Oh, man. Gotta go to the exit. I'm not gonna face one of those real cruisers yet. They'll probably destroy me. Here's a small space station. It appears abandoned. Move in. Check it. Blah, blah, blah. You detect no danger. It appears to have been a small rest stop. Abandoned a while ago. You find some supplies. Alright. I think we're good for now. On to the next sector. Let's go to the civilian sector. Welcome to a new sector. Wow, a lot of options. Let's go this way. Get 13 fuel, 22 drone parts, and a combat drone mark one. Sweet. I think this one will sh this one will hurt the laser the shields. So that could be a better one than the beam at first. Having both of those later on will be good. When I get enough money to, or have enough scrap money, currency, whatever you want to call it, to have both those run at the same time, it'll be pretty good. Federation transport is under attack by a rebel scout. We're going to aid this ship, of course. So, let's power up that combat drone and show the difference. So, the last one had a beam. This one just shoots like a blast. Like, up, and then the shield goes down, so now when it does that, maybe it can hit better. Maybe. And already down to 50% hull. That's not good. See, but I mean, most of the time, our shields just deflect it up. And we really need another crew member to start leveling up on the shields. shots left, one shot left, and drone's gonna kill it. Perfect. Attack the Federation ship, got a bunch of money for that, there we go. That's what we need. So let's put one in weapons. Wow, that costs a lot more for some reason on the bottom one. Huh, it's odd. And one in drones, and then grab one more of these. So, I mean, all that wasn't necessarily needed yet, but it's progress towards making sure we have stuff for later, because we're going to use all that before we get to the end. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. Stay out of this, you'll be next. Concentrate your fire on blah, 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 blah. You ask for it, they pull away from you to engage in us. Alright, so I'm going to hit the shield, and I think the beam might actually be better for right now. Sorry, bump my mic. Probably sounds bad. So, hit the shields and then the beam should. Alright, maybe not. Maybe it'll be better with the. Uh... I don't want to waste another round. There we go. Now the. There we go. Alright. And what I didn't say about the lasers is if it hits more than one room, it does more than one damage. So. If this, it's a small little laser beam, so it went across two, you can see it did two damage right there. If it got real good and for some reason went across three, it would do three. And obviously if it just hits one, it hits one. And right there is the main reason I put another one in weapon. So if it gets hit once, that it can still be firing while it's being repaired. Alright, now that's really good. <laughs> to find that, that's crazy. Once you go on the signal station, we appreciate what you've done, but there is another ship looking to profit from isolation soon enough. Sorry, we can't give you more. Well, no problem, because that's actually very, very good. Like, really good. Just three shots, one per sh one damage per shot, can breach and fire, times two for systemless rooms. It's actually very good. So, now we can just power that up rather than the dual lasers. Which is three. Yeah, it takes a little longer to charge, but it's not that big of a deal. And that was all of our money, I just realized that. And so, let's knock out uh, some of that, and then we can shoot their systemless room. Well, and we'll do combat drone. You better get off my ship. I don't know what you think you're doing. Get in there. 
Just stop him from killing those drones, that's a big deal. You get in there. Alright, now. Get the cloning bay to kill him. The only thing about the NG is they really suck at fighting. Really bad. I wasn't even paying attention to what was going on on the other ship, so... Apparently we're good, we won. Alright, you know what, you go over there. Put you in here. Suck out the air out of that room. And murder you. You get back over there and prepare that up. Alright, now I'll put you back over there. Everybody go back to their stations. And I'm gonna have to pause real quick. Back into this. Pause. Let's get all our oxygen up. Alright, so now you notice. You got these guys are hurt. Yeah, I mean they're hurt pretty bad. That's pretty, pretty, pretty bad. So now you jump. They all went up a little bit, but not much. Jump in the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently impacted ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. So we can manually search the wreckage for survivor and equipments. Why can I, my pilot, have your pilot carefully explore the debris? I like the word debris. Um, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Another drone, anti-fire ship drone. I don't know what that's gonna do, so I'll look at that real quick. Combat drone that rapidly attacks with a small beam weapon that lights rooms on fire. Cool. Never used that before. All right, we're gonna go down here to this door. Engineer shut up a small shop. Blah blah blah. Heavy laser, burst laser, chain laser. Not quite the Vulcan, but meh. Whatever. Oh, man, let's we'll see. Team combat and fire. We're gonna keep those. Here are the duel. That's one. That's one power. This one takes two power to upgrade and go. All it takes two, so that'd be five. This one fire this only fires two anyway. So the dual laser is actually better. In a way. This one has a chance to start a small fire. No. Alright, we're gonna stick with that. And we need to grab some fuel. Some repairs quite a bit. Right. And let's see if we can do anything. We can upgrade some of this. But really I should probably get to where I can shoot. We get one more of these. So, we'll move on to this distress over here. And... Encountered by a refugee ship drifting through space. Looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and now ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure if anybody's on board and it communicates. Your communication seem to be down. Prepare to board or ignore the ship. I think I'm going to prepare to board and investigate. Got this guy. Here's the ship around fuel. The crew ran up food long after, despite the grisly scene. Grisly, grisly looks right. There remains. You find one surviving crewman locked in the freezer, almost perfectly preserved and almost overlooked by the starving crew. Oh, apparently, not almost. Apparently, sweet, you are going. Well, you're dying. That's awesome. Immediately start dying. It's not fully up to oxygen. Just so, I mean, unless I'm crazy, this room looks darker than all the other rooms. I don't understand. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I guess we'll just have to move on. Alright. So. I guess that was worth it. Didn't get any money from it. But... kind of a little weird to me. Try and hack and prevent an alert. Attack the automated ship to get the station. I always like doing the blue thing, so might as well. You successfully hack the station, connect to the automated ship. 
gain access to it. Undetected, the station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems, so I can find drones and some scrap. All repair is pretty good, I guess. Well, let me take a look at it, because I don't actually... Pretty sure it just bears three to five damage to your hull. Drone is consumed every time, so you can kind of get repairs. That may actually be really good. If I get a combat or a... Or I could just hang on to that, and when I'm running on health, I could do it. That, that may be... I'm going to hang on to that one. Seems like a pretty good one. Alright, let's go to here, then the store, then out. Too bad you regret that decision. It's a lot of the basic same stuff. Power up that shield. Get that hall laser going. Knock that out. We'll go with the. Uh... I wonder if the fire goes through shields. We'll see. Oh, I don't have enough. Let's knock my hinges down one. Let's see what it does. It does not go through shields, but hopefully the hall laser. Blast away at the shields. Right, good. Now, I can't see if the room's on fire or not, so. It's whatnot. Hopefully, it's all burning, but. Uh, I guess I could throw some in the sensors room real quick to just take a look. And look at all that fire. Pretty cool. And then I can put this on a systemless room and do double damage. So, instead of one, every time it hits this room, it's gonna do two. Boom, knock out. Alright, so, top of the store, and the exit. And drone, drone, clocking, back up. No, nah, that looks too great to me. If that was combat two, it'd be alright. Don't really need that. Buy one, two fuels. Good to go. And. Find another power bar. Another one. No. We'll save on that. Then I can put this in here. Got enough for the drones. And then. Hop over here. Go to this exit. You arrive at the long range speaker. You come across. Somebody needs some missiles. Don't have any missiles yet, so. We'll give them the missiles. Just for some scrap. Not bad. Pretty good. We'll upgrade this and that. So. Now we can upgrade, we can have combat and beam going at the same time. I think fire will be a more strategic drone to be able to use in in some stickier situations. So, we're going to move on to, either way we're going through a nebula. So, we'll go, we'll go to the mantis home world, because it's in the middle. Last time we stuck to the bottom, let's kind of bounce around this time, see, it doesn't really make a difference. but. You enter a poorly charted area of space that is known to be known as the Mantis. Ensure your hull plating is up to scratch. And that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Oh man, that's annoying. Didn't know that. Alright, so, there's a store, so it's fine. Here's the next sector we're going to explore. No nebulas, it doesn't look too bad. It looks Actually, it looks like a pretty cool one. Alright, so, that's where I'm going to stop this video. So, hope you enjoyed like if you liked it all that stuff you know i don't like promoting it but it works psychologically and now that i say that it probably makes you not want to do it but just if you enjoyed it you enjoyed it but thanks for watching